Hello everyone, welcome to VMware Arena YouTube channel. If this is the first time you are watching video in this channel, please do subscribe to the channel and also click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about the new video which I am posting about VMware virtualization and other virtualization technology. In this video, we are going to see how to create a distributed switch. As everyone is aware about a distributed switch so distributed switch simplifies the management and administration of uh, networking for uh, virtual machines so basically we have a uh, two different switches one is standard switch and another one is distributed switch when it comes to standard switch uh, if we want to create on port group and make on uh, network configuration or create on vm kernel port or everything right all the management which we need to perform at the individual esxi host because that particular virtual switch is limited to the esxi host uh, imagine you have an hundreds of uh, ESXi hosts, you want to reconfigure or create a new new network and uh, uh, apply a network security policy, all these things, right? So with the distributed switch, this the configuration and management of uh, virtual networks is simplified in distributed switch. So I have an article which talks about the difference between standard switch and distributed switch. I'll put that article in the description. Okay, take a look. So let's get started. We'll in this video, we'll see how to create a distributed switch and how to add the ESXi host into the distributed switch. We'll also see how to add the network adapter to the distributed switch. Okay, so these are all the four. Uh, I have a four node uh, ESXi cluster. Okay, so as of now, this ESXi host are part of a standard switches. So imagine when you want to add a, a stand, uh, ESXi host, which is in standard switch. And if you want to add that particular ESXi host to the distributed switch, ensure we have at least one uplink assigned to the each of the switch so that you know like when we migrate the uh, vm kernel network or virtual machine network from standard switch to distributed switch so both the switches will have an uh, uplink okay so i have a four network adapter in my esxi host so let's see how can we do so to create the distributed switch go to the networking view just right click the data center select new distributed switch specify the name for your distributed switch uh, so let me specify something called dv switch iphone uh, lab iphone one okay click on next so in the distributed switch uh, there are multiple uh, versions are available based upon your uh, vcenter server version my vcenter server is 7.0 so it provides me the option to create a 7.0.0 distributed switch version but uh, think about this uh, if we are going to add the esxi host to the distributed switch uh, to 7.0.0 your esxi host should be esxi 7.0 or later we cannot add the esxi 7.6.7 host to the 7.0 so just to ensure that uh, if you are having a mixed version of uh, uh, esxi version imagine 6.7 and 7.0 uh, we need to create on 6.6.0 so uh, let me show you 7.0.0 click on next we'll see what is the problem we'll be facing uh, when we try to add the esxi 6.7 host to the 7.0 so my esxi host is uh, 6.7 okay so i'm running 6.7.0 esxi host in the cluster let me go back to the networking view just right click your distributed switch select new distributed switch specify the name for the distributed switch let's select a 7.0 because each version will have a uh, different future set so 6.7 6.6 will allow to add esxi 6.7 and later versions so it's better to add 6.6.0 if you are having an uh, esxi 6.7 if you have only 7.0 esxi host we can add uh, esxi 7.0.0 okay so i have selected 7.0.0 and click on next just specify the name for it i'd say demo okay just click on next uh 7.0 i said I'm, I'm i'm creating 7.0 i'm going to explain you just leave all the default uplink and other uh, settings i will explain you uh, when i really create it click on finish so i created a switch called dv switch iphone demo with uh, version is 
0.0.0. I'm trying to add ESXi host to the distributor switch. Just uh, right click add and manage host. Click on add host. Select new host. So I have a four ESXi host in that particular vCenter server, but it is not displaying it to add to this particular distributed switch. If I click show incompatible host, it shows it, right? This is because my ESXi host is 6.7.0 and the version, the DV switch version, which I created is 7.0.0. With uh, DV switch 7.0, we can only add ESXi 7.0 or later. So it's, it's perfectly fine. We can create a DV switch with 6.6.0 add our ESXi 6.7 host later we can upgrade the ESXi host once all the host in the DV switch are upgraded to 7.0 we can upgrade the distributed switch to 7.0 so let's go ahead and create a, a DV switch uh, with a DV switch uh, iPhone lab iPhone 01 click on next so this time we are going to create 6.6.0. So this will allow us to add ESXi 6.7 and later ESXi host to the DB switch. Okay, click next. So specify the number of uplinks. Uh, this will be the uplinks, which is nothing but your physical adapter, uh, which will be participated in the distributed switch. Uh, network IA control, we can enable and disable. If you want to create on default port group, first time when we create the DB switch, we can select the check mark i don't need an uh, distributor i don't need an uh, default uh, port groups uh, which get created so number of uplink um, i keep it four because i my es host is having four network adapters okay so network control is enabled version is 6.6.0 uh, so i am creating click on finish to create the distributed switch my dv switch called dv switch lab iphone 0 0.1 is created and if you click on summary we can see the version version is 6.6.0 it is showing upgrade is available because my vcenter server is already upgraded to 7.0 that's why it is showing upgrade is available so as of now we are not going to perform an upgrade because our ESXi host is 6.7.0 we have to upgrade our ESXi host to 7.0 to upgrade our DV switch uh, you can see if you click on uh, host you will see which are all the hosts which is part of that particular distributed switch so as of now we didn't added the host into the dv switch let's add the host into distributed switch distributed switch just right click the dv switch and click on add and manage host now we are going to add a host just select the option add host if you want to manage a host networking like uh, making changes to your uh, network adapters or migrating a vm kernel or virtual machine network we can select the option manage host networking we have also option to remove the host from dv switch so let's add the host click on new host uh, select the ESXi host which uh, we want to add it to this particular distributor switch. So I have a four year. Just select uh, the ESXi host. The host should be showing up on compatible. Just click on OK to select the host and click on next. Okay, click on next. So it will show what are how many virtual network adapter NIC which is part of this ESXi host. It is showing up uh, what all the, the network adapter which is present in the ESXi host. So my each ESXi host is having four network adapter which is VMNIC 0 to VMNIC 3 and it shows VMNIC 0 is assigned to vSwitch 0. So vSwitch 0, uh, one of the network adapter called VMNIC 0 is assigned. So to assign the uplink, just select the network adapter and click on assign uplink. So uh, this is the uplink which is a naming format for our uh, network adapter so we can define the uplink based upon the order and uh, your VLAN configuration just select the VMNIC uh, 1 assign uplink so let me add this into the uplink 2 so once we migrate our vm kernel network from standard switch to distributed switch we can also remove the uplink which is vmnic 0 which is assigned to the standard switch to here so i selected the uplink 2 uh, for vmnic 1 so we can select this checkbox apply this uplink assignment to rest of the host so if you are if you having a similar configuration network configuration network adapter configuration of all other esx hosts in the cluster we can select this option so that the physical uh, whatever the changes we are making to one host will be applied to all other host in the cluster or whatever the host we selected to manage it right so if you can see here uh, in all the ESXi hosts, vmnic1 is assigned as an uplink to 
with a one click we were able to achieve it so imagine if you have an uh, similarly uh, configured or same hardware uh, around like 32 or 64 in the cluster if you want to make a changes with a single tick mark we can make a changes right to all the sxios just uh, in the next adapter i'm going to vmnic 2 i'm going to assign it to uplink 3 just to select the check mark apply this to all other hosts so it will be reflecting in all the all other esxi host as well okay so we can see that uh, vmnic 2 is assigned to the uplink 3 the last one vmnic 4 i'm going to assign as an uplink 4 here just select uplink select the uplink 4 select the check mark apply this uplink assignment to rest of the host click ok so now we have a uh, one network adapter which is part of uh, standard switch and uh, other three network adapter which is part of dv switch we have added that into uplink 2 uplink 3 and uplink 4 respectively on all other esxi host in the cluster okay so i have vmnic 1 2 and 3 is currently assigned to the dv switch and vmnic 0 is assigned to the D, uh, virtual switch once we migrate the networking from the virtual switch to distributor switch we can remove the vmnic 0 and assign it to the standard switch so this will also give the option to migrate our uh, vm kernel network adapter for example i have a vmk 0 in each of the esxios which is management um, vm kernel network which is currently present in the v switch switch v switch 0 so we have also option to you know like uh, migrate that uh, vm kernel network adapter to the distributed switch with this wizard so i am not going to do this uh, during this time so we also have an option to migrate our virtual machine uh, from your standard so your standard port groups to the distributed port groups so we can just select the migrate virtual machine networking it will list out uh, the virtual machines in this particular esx host you can just select the port group distributed port group uh, the, as a destination port group to migrate it i'm not going to do this uh, at this time okay so host to add is 4 and physical network adapter is totally 12 so 3 network adapters for 4 ESXi host we are going to add it to this particular distributed switch okay click on ok so it will make the changes it will add the ESXi host into the DV switch within a few uh, seconds we will start at seeing the um, the ESXi host under the distributed switch host tabs so now we have a four ESXi host which is passed up part of this distributed switch okay so let's go back to the host view and uh, click on uh, configure to validate the to validate the host configuration click on configure go to virtual switches now we can see this particular ESX host is part of a V switch and also distributed switch. Okay, so it is part of DV switch lab 01 and also it is part of V switch 01. And one of the network adapter called VMNIC 0 is assigned to the virtual switch. And we have a three network adapter VMNIC 1, 2, and 3, which is assigned under uplink 2 and 3 and 4 under the distributed switch okay so what we can do is uh, in the next uh, video we can migrate the vm kernel network which is management network from your virtual switch to the distributed switch then we can remove that uplink and assign it back to the standard uh, distributed switch okay so let's create a new distributed port group okay so when it comes to the standard switch if you want to create a port group we have to create that port group in all the ESX host manually but when it comes to distributed switch just one time creation it will be auto populated in all the ESX host that particular port group can be used in any other ESX host just specify the distributed port group name and uh, I'm not going to explain this security setting as of now click on finish so I created an uh, port group called DVPG distributed uh, virtual switch port group and uh, I just named it as demo so it will not be showing up because you know like um, it will show only when the virtual machine is connected to that particular uh, 
distributed port group okay so as of now it is not showing because uh, that particular port group is not consumed by the virtual machine right imagine you have a uh, hundreds of uh, port groups which will be created in dv switch but uh, only uh, 10 is uh, consumed by your virtual machine so showing up all the 100 port groups in this particular view will be messy right that's why it will be only visible when that particular port group is consumed by any virtual machine okay so if you select the uh, distributed port group and if you click on the host we can see uh, the ESXi host which is having this particular port group right this is a simplified the management and configuration of virtual network imagine this is a painful task you have to do a f imagine you have a 32 uh, node and ESXi cluster we have if you are uh, managing with a virtual switch we have to do that uh, 32 times right in each of the ESXOs, but when it comes to DV switch, just one time right click and create a DV port group, that port group will be visible to all the ESXOs, which is part of that particular distributed switch. So I hope uh, this is informative for you and I hope you understand the process of creating a distributed switch. What is the impact of uh, selecting the version, uh, uh, DV switch version and how to add the ESXA host and how to assign the uplink uh, to the, from the ESXA host to the distributed switch. And also, uh, in the next video, I will explain how to migrate a VM kernel network adapter from your standard switch to the distributed switch. I hope this is informative for you. Uh, please, please do subscribe to the channel and also click on the bell notifications to receive the all notifications, whichever I am, the video which I am posting about VMware virtualization, other virtualization technology. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Bye-bye.